Yo, what's up guys? Today we'll be getting some premium Steam keys from Salad.io. If you didn't know, Salad.io is a mining software that it kind of gives you money, but they get more money back in return. It's kind of like they get some money, you get some money, y'all win. So as you can see in the top right corner, I've been mining for quite a bit. So I've been able to purchase these five random Steam Keys Premium. So we're just going to get right into it and check out what they are. Let's buy it now. Perfect. Now we have our random Premium 5 Keys. Let's check out what they are. Here we go. Let's redeem the first key now. See what it is. Uh, perfect. And let's have it install and let's check it out then. Okay, now that Baseball Mongol Diamond is finished, let's check it out. Here we go, welcome to Baseball Mongol Diamond. Let's start a new game. We'll do modern. The year is 2015. That's a bit skeptical. We'll put the difficulty at max and just start it up. Uh, let's click the only button we can. Wow, this is crazy. This is a ton of numbers. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to expect of this. Play yeah, let's try to go to the playoffs. Good, this is a good start. Well, it wasn't actually that good of a start. I couldn't figure out, and it was getting a bit confusing. So I just decided, let's move on to the next game. Which seems to be an exact copy of the first one. Uh, two Steam pages look exactly alike, so... Uh, we'll, we'll see. Here we go, have the second game, Baseball Mongol 15, looking the exact same. Except the text is a bit different. Uh, yeah, this this is gonna be a uh, dud. I think these keys aren't having the best outcome, but let's give them some hope. What do you say? Uh, simulate. Play this game in play-to-play -play mode. Yep. Oh, gosh. It started. Pitch. Just keep going. Pitch it. Oh! Strike one. There we go. Hey! That was the whole inning. Oh. So, basically, we got the baseball thing here, and it seems very loud. Like, ridiculously, like, I don't know how to turn it down either, uh, but we're, we're gonna bat, we're just, we're, we're just batting, we got our man, player, slider, oh, let's do a curve to this corner, there we go, little Timmy never stood a chance anyways, good riddance, let's do a fastball right down the center, Oh, that's it. No, no more, no more, no more baseball. There we go. The sound is over. Just the sound of the steam library. Here we go. Got our third game, which should be endless space. I actually have some hope for this one. Hopefully it's not as bad as the baseball games, but hey, what can you say? Premium steam keys. Am I right? It's $5. Oh, I've been scammed. So as you can see here, it says the Steam Keys will have a value of 8 euros or higher, and that is not true in this case. Checking the Steam page of Endless Space, looks like the reviews are pretty good, so this might actually be a good game. Here we go. Auto Space, look like we got a stretched resolution here. Like, this is really stretched. Endless Space, kinda like, I don't know. Oh my gosh, turn the volume down. Now that my ears are at a reasonable level, we'll try. We'll try this. Uh, we'll just start the game. Not even knowing. We got an empire here. Uh, welcome to the Game of Endless Space. It's a tutorial. Uh, sure, we got a tutorial. Mm, pretty cool for 2012 vet graphics, I will say. Weird that it's stretched, kind of like Left 4 Dead. But I guess that game's fun. Never did beat it. Uh, I don't really want to read the text. We'll just... just... Okay, so this seems like a turn-based game. Oh, uh, we'll put a scout. So it seems maybe I should have read the directions, but hmm, take chances, make mistakes. I will disable. So I want to do something with the spaceship. Alpha. Battle actions. Oh, how do I have these credits? Hmm. Guess we'll find out that later. Pings. Uh, scrap. Sure, we'll scrap something. We'll create one ship. Now, what do I do with this since I can't drag it? Uh, we will click that. Cannot colonize. Oh, that was bad. We'll end our turn. Uh, what happens if we keep ending our turn? I want to just see. So this, this is like more like a strategic game. But if you're into that, go for it. Seems like it could be a lot of fun. Oh, 
It's got like space vibes. 2015, uh, would I recommend this? No. But if it was on sale, maybe. For, like a good amount off. Uh, that's my review of the game. Let's go into the fourth one. Got a little trailer. Seems like two people meeting. jump into the game actually there we go let's jump into the game oh uh, let's do casual don't know what this is about but i did like the intro that sounded great it seems like this game could have been like painted and like frame by frame i do actually like that i think it looks beautiful Okay, would you really drop your keys and then the wolf would get them and that's... Uh, so it seems like we gotta find... Oh, there's a person. Okay. So what are we looking for? The storyteller was here, he had on... The storyteller was here, he had on a weird wolf mask and he was watching me from the other side of the gate. When that lunatic saw me in a red riding hood coat, he cast me in the role of the red riding hood. My favorite coat is the reason Kelvin is in danger. And now his fate is in my hands. Will the rest of you will he be the subject of countless headlines about a horrific murder? Fortunately, the storyteller doesn't know what a woman motivated by love can do. Okay. So, we gotta find things that were, like, why she was stolen. Okay. Uh, so I sh Dearest Red Riding Hood, I've left a surprise for you. You in the script? Yours truly the big bad wolf. Distract him. What can we distract him with? Inventory. Oh, we have a bone. Well, we got... Oh, it's too far away. Of course. Of course. That's unfortunate. Uh, what could we use to find the key? Okay, we got something else. Angel's head. We need something to grab it. What could we use? Oh, we found something behind the bushes. Interesting indeed. So what did we get? We got a branch. Okay. So we can use the branch to get that. And then we can... Well, I'll use a hint. The padlock. Oh. Yes. That was weird that didn't grab it. So we can use that. Oh. Wonder, oh, was that what we needed? More items. That will help us a spring. Some pliers. Okay. Oh, these are what we need to find. Hammer. Oh, there's that. Okay, so we need a star and a shovel. There's the shovel in the background. Oh, I wonder if the star is back there too. There's the star, it was hidden on the car. Wire cutters, okay. Maybe that can get us into that. Or we can use the wire cutters on this. Awesome, we broke into that. And I will leave it off to there. Uh, maybe I'll play this more, but I think this is actually a really good game. If I were to rate this game, I would definitely have to give it a, uh, just from playing through it, seven out of 10, looks like fun, but I think it can get repetitive. Let's go on to the final game now. Last game we have is Dark Strokes. Uh, let's see what this game is like. We got an item. Ooh. Okay, hopping into the final game here. Uh, I wonder what it would be like. It looks pretty good from the store page. Also made by the same developer that made the last one. Of course, the music is really loud. Ooh.
that was pretty cool. Uh, we'll just start. I'll use whatever settings they want. Oh. Is this another game where you find stuff? Interesting. We got a bow. Uh, we'll skip the... You can interact. Okay. Oh, we can put that in. Oh. We're gonna shoot him? Okay. Oh, he was a ghost. What? Thanks for driving off the night. I was afraid you'd catch me. No problem. The passenger name is Adriel. The hunter offered her to hide in cabin. Elsewhere in the night, an evil plan was being set in motion. Oh gosh. Terrifying. Okay, a gift was dropped. Some water boiling. Alan, look at what I found on the porch. Seems like it's got dry ice in it. I don't know if I'd open that. Alan, a huge hot air balloon just flew over our house. And you seem happy about that. That's kind of weird. I left it back. Let's see what's in it. Yeah, the way that her lips. Oh, that's kind of weird. This is your journal. Okay. Yep, about him. Gotcha. Perfect. Uh, give us a festival. Dear citizens, we're pleased to announce a grand festival will happen in the kingdom. To celebrate, everyone will be receive a small gift. Uh, I need a knife. Oh, gosh. What is that? A glove? Oh. Trade a couple deer antlers for it. Guess we'll take stuff. Oh, so you find the symbols. Oh, there we go. I muy inteligente. Wow. You never thought it. Okay. Uh, perfect. Okay, we still need to get that knife, but. Oh. Now that he placed it in, is it going to open? Oh, it actually fired something. That'd be cool, but it seems pretty old. Um, judging by the time, I don't know. This game definitely isn't better than the last, but it's still pretty good. We got magic objects. Okay, I guess we'll open that. Now we need the two people. Get that, and where is the other person? I'll use a hint. Oh. Oh, we need to find the items. Okay, we need to find wings and a trumpet. Oh. Okay, we got her. Trumpet acquired. Wings. More wings. Oh, we can close things. It's not in there. Uh. Not in there either. Is it behind this? Oh, flower. Now we just need the last trumpet. Where could that be? Here's another hint. Oh. Right in front of my eyes. Oh. There's a knife to open the thing. That was pretty complicated, but... I guess it makes sense. Slice. She seems really high. <laughs> what? What's going on? And she's stuck, of course. That game is actually pretty cool. I like the story behind it, but the graphics were not the best. Oh, well, that one's slightly worse than the last one we played, but I would still give it 7 out of 10. My overall review on the Salad Steam Keys is pretty bad since the games were repetitive. The baseball ones were the same, and the hidden puzzle ones were very just ugh, repetitive.
So my overall view of the Salad Steam keys is gonna be 3 out of 10. They were repetitive, some of them wasn't even over $10. Uh, two of the games were pretty cool that I enjoyed. Say some was if I got more into it. But I wouldn't really like this unless you would try gambling. As always, if you want to support me and start earning money, you can use my salad code in the description. That's going to do it for me, guys. I uh, hope you have a great day.